What's up you guys? Welcome back to another vlog. I'm really excited because I'm doing some fun things in this vlog, or hopefully. Um, first off, we have a thrift haul. I went thrift shopping yesterday and I didn't film. It was actually just kind of like a spur of the moment thrift. I had to kill, you know, an hour and a half or so. So I decided to go to my local Goodwill and I found quite a few cute little things. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you might have seen some of these things. Sometimes I sneak peek, you guys, like I love thrifting and so I try to share all of my thrift stuff like everywhere on all my social media. So if you guys like to see like how I end up styling a lot of clothes, cause I know I do a lot of hauls, but maybe sometimes you guys don't see how I end up styling these clothes like in my day to day life. I try to do more OOTDs on my Instagram and also I take you guys with me in the thrift store when I don't have my filming camera. If you guys wanna do like polls on my Insta stories, follow me over on Instagram it's a good time I just share my more of like day-to-day -day life with you guys over there as well so I feel like I can like message you guys more and just like connect see what you guys are doing things like that so if you guys have Instagram sorry shameless plug I'm also really excited because tomorrow we are going down and going shopping you guys seem to like the shop with me when I did it last time so I was so excited that you guys liked that so I'll do more of those videos here and we are going to be looking at an RV. I have been wanting to get like a travel trailer RV situation for like a few years now. We were kind of going in between if we wanted to buy our boat or if we wanted to get an RV or like a travel trailer um, maybe like five years ago. And we've had our boat for maybe like four years now. Everett loves wakeboarding. He's like huge into wakeboarding and just like lake life in general. One day we would love to get a houseboat, but now that we've had our boat for quite a while, we are ready to maybe make another purchase. And I really, really, really wanted to get a travel trailer. Like that's my dream is to like take the two dogs, Everett, and just go on weekend road trips. We love road tripping. So it just makes sense for our life. Like we love camping, road tripping, being outside, going on trips. So tomorrow we will be looking at an RV. It might not be the one, but it's still exciting just to like kind of get the ball rolling on that and like open up that idea. Okay, so here is the thrift haul. I just had the girl at Goodwill put everything in this bag right here because I did end up purchasing this purse. I love this, you guys. I love like um, Aztec and like Midwestern kind of prints and also a lot of like Western-y looking prints, you know what I mean? Like saddlebags or carpet bags. And so when I saw this, I was so excited. It is a little bit more colorful than like my normal color palette, but I like that it's mostly neutral with just like a little bit of coloring here. And it is a very large size, which I also prefer. I'm not a small bag kind of girl because I like to carry a lot of stuff with me. So small purses just like don't work for me. It didn't have a brand on it, but it was I think $6.99 and it fits so much stuff. Honestly, I could make this into a thrifting bag. I'm trying not to source for my closets because I have back stock, but if I find something that's like superb, I'm not gonna like leave it there if it's worth quite a lot. And that's the way with this first one. It is this beautiful, it's pretty basic. It's a black silk blouse. I actually had never heard of this brand, um, but when I see a tag, I sometimes can just tell if a tag is expensive. I feel like a lot of expensive designer brands have very simplistic fonts and very simplistic tags. Like the tag is just very like simple, clean. Think of all the luxury items like Gucci or like Louis Vuitton or like any of those expensive brands. Usually it's very blocky fonts and very, very clean, classic looking, you know what I mean? Like just very, very simplistic. Nili Lotan, sorry about my horrendous nails. I really need to redo them, forgive me. So that was a really fun find for my Poshmark Depop closets. This is one of the ones that I showed on stories and I think like over 80% of people told me to buy it, which I completely agree. As soon as I saw it, I knew I was gonna buy it, but I just wanted to see your guys' opinion. And it is this beautiful, trendy, kind of like satin-like, it almost looks like what I have on now, um, satin-like skirt. It is a midi skirt. So cute. I actually own this skirt already myself and I absolutely love it. Just like such a nice creamy cool toned beige with like that leopard 
larger leopard print. My sweet little baby cousin, who's not so much a baby anymore, I think she's like 22 now or something, um, she actually messaged me and was like, oh my god, what size is that? I love it so much. Like, please get it a thousand percent. I'm actually going to send this to her because she loved it so much. And I was like, just send me your address and it's yours. Like, I already have it, so we can be twins. <laughs> I found two cute little scarves. You guys know me, I love to get scarves for purses, head wraps. I even like to wear them as tops in the summertime. So this is the first one right here. This one does feel like silk, but I don't see that it says that anywhere. And it's, I don't know what this says. And let me know if you guys know what the signature is in the comments down below, but this one does feel like silk, super soft. And then this is the other one. Um, I picked it up for myself, but if I don't end up wearing it by summertime, I'll probably list it on my Poshmark, just to see if I wear it. This one was 350 and definitely, oh, it is silk. Oh, this is an Oscar de la Renta. That's awesome. Cool, it's a vintage Oscar de la Renta um, scarf right here. It's just this like beautiful blue paisley and floral print, like yellow roses, paisley. Like I said, I like to wear these folded in half like this and then as a cute little top. You can do it a few ways. Sometimes I like to do it backwards and then tie it crisscross in the front right here. You know what I'm saying? I did end up finding one houseware. I had to go because Everett was ready to get picked up. So I didn't get to go in the housewares as much as I want. I want to start spending more time in the housewares, you guys. Like, not that I need more stuff in my house because I feel like my house is lightweight, like kind of cluttery. <laughs> um, but I love finding like little gems like this. I just need to get rid of some of the old stuff that I don't like anymore and then replace it with things I do like. I'm really into clay. I love clay pieces. It's like so natural looking to me and I like that each clay piece is very like unique. You know, none of them are ever gonna look exactly the same. Ooh, I found this. I thought it was really trendy and cute. It is just this little like half pearl, half gold necklace right here. I added this little turquoise guy that Everett gave me years ago to my Ana Luisa chain, and I've been liking it a lot. Um, but yeah, you guys know I just like to wear a ton of jewelry, especially gold jewelry, and I've been getting into the little like pearl trend that's going on right now. Has a little seashell charm there at the bottom. <laughs> I love this. I kind of wish, well, let me explain. Okay, so I got this men's camo top. It's just like, you know, I have several of these. I have like a sweater. <laughs> I don't know why I thrift these so often. I live in kind of like a rural area, so there's a lot of this funky camo where I live. Um, this is, it says on the front right here, Knuckleheads Brew House, which if it was just like this, I wouldn't have gotten it, but I love the back graphic. I wish that the back graphic was on the front of this shirt. Like I'm kind of bummed that it's on the back because you won't see it as often. I just think it's cuter. If it was, I just wish this was on the front. It is this gorgeous bull skull, like southwestern looking with the cactus and like the sun going down in the distance. It says Knuckleheads Brew House in Westmoreland, New York. It has like the, has feathers. And this is beautiful. I didn't have a chance to try it on, so I really hope it fits me because I love it. Stone Row? I really like their pieces. I don't know, they sort of a little bit remind me of like Volcom kind of style sometimes. And this is just a velvet like midi dress, um, high neck. And then it has these cute little cutouts on the side, like underneath the armpit. In the back too, on the neckline, it's like a really deep V. I'm not sure what bra I'll be able to wear with this. Maybe like a lacy bra. <laughs> I would be really excited to like redo the travel trailer like before and after and do like a whole thrifting series of like redoing it and like making it cute inside. Oh my God, if I get to do that, I'd be so excited. And then after that, we could do like a thrifting across the United States. And every time I go on an RV trip, it'd be like road trip and thrift, you know what I mean? And like have a whole RV specific traveling and thrifting playlist. That's my dream. <laughs> Anyways, okay, this is the last little piece that I ended up getting. It is just a little like bralette right here. Um, but I liked that it was like a little bit longer and it has this like cute little crisscrossy thing going on right here. If this doesn't fit me, I might give it to one of my girlfriends, maybe Ari. 
I look cute on her. This is the last thing that I ended up picking up. I don't know what about me and like this paisley print. I've been obsessed with paisley print for like, I don't know, a year now. This is just a vintage like nightgown, long sleeve nightgown dress, or it might be a shirt. And, but they didn't have the bottoms. No, I think it's more of a dress length, like a short dress length. Once it's like the perfect weather to have your windows open. I can just see myself like walking around, drinking coffee, editing my YouTube videos, and like, you know, just like being bougie in my cute little vintage nightgown. <laughs> Troubles melt away. Yeah. Oh. It's perfect weather. It can't get better. It's just another sunny day. Sunny day. Hey. Rolling with the top yeah. down. California dreaming now. Cruising down the one on one. One on one. Everybody knows it's time to let go and have fun in the sun. Yeah. All I see are blue skies. Blue skies. This feeling just feels so right. So right. All I got are good vibes. Good vibes. I'm in a sunshine city. Hello, my friends. We're making dinner. Tonight we are making chicken with homemade Alfredo sauce. And then instead of noodles, we do broccoli for a chicken broccoli Alfredo y. I gotta go. I got to get to cooking. I'll show you the finished meal when we're done. Ooh, yeah. There we go. Chicken, Alfredo, broccoli. Bowls. Which one are we on? What up, you guys? Welcome back Look at this. to my wife's channel. So Look we are, <laughs> Where are we we're a mess right now. Um, for no reason. We're checking out an RV and. They know, I told them yesterday. Yeah, so we're, we're right here. Now. Here she is in all her beauty. She's beauty and she's grace. She's Miss United States. Maybe you should look on the thing. That needs some. S this is leaking when they fixed it and they sprayed shit everywhere. Oh. What happened? Where did it leak? It was leaking up here and they fixed it. They got this shit everywhere. Oh, huh? I see what you're saying. They weren't very careful with their spray. Yeah, we don't know if they fixed it up here either. Until it starts to... Why do they make stuff in trailers like so tacky looking on purpose? Like why do they use like the ugliest wallpapers I've ever seen? It's not like hor horrible, but it's definitely not. Good luck. Nice to meet ya. Did you do that? Did you do that? You What's that? You won't look at us? Biggie. What is that? Chicken. Raw chicken. Is that chicken on the on my floor? What is that? Sour Te cream. Tegan didn't do that. Tegan can't knock over the trash can. Who knocked over the trash can? All right, you guys. As you guys saw, wasn't the travel trailer for us. It's okay. 
just was it was actually bigger than advertised or like than we thought it was there was like a typo and it was not the same size as the one that we're looking for and also it just had like a bunch of issues and we could tell that whoever had fixed some of the problems like didn't do it in a they weren't good craftsmen it's like they did it very janky as far as fix goes so uh, we're just gonna keep looking because that's it for today so i'll see you in the next few days